Alrighty, alrighty. My name is Ifu. Ifu. Uh, Rufus Wiggins. And um, hopefully my name will be changed here down the road. I want to open up that uh, one, I want to uh, acknowledge Brother Bumani. If everybody can give Bumani a hand clap, please. I came on this trip with intentions of absorbing and trying to gain some knowledge from my head as well as in my spirit. Yes. And um, it's been amazing. It's definitely been amazing. Um, I'm not sure if any of you all have taken the time to stop and think about what actually journey we are on. For myself, I will say that uh, we had the Harriet Tubman the Underground Railroad. And I'm looking at uh, Moses, who took the children out of the land of Egypt. And we happen to be on a special journey from Bumani to bring us over into the land of milk and honey. And I'm not sure if anybody just stopped to think of just this journey and this place and point where we are and what he's actually doing. I believe down the road, we're gonna be part of something that will be spoken of for years to come. Yes. And to be part of this right here, it just, uh, it touches me in a, in a, a profound way. And so i like to thank Bumani for having the courage to, to uh, go through the trials, tribulations yeah. of this business. And through the storms, definitely when the economy went down and he didn't have a lot of partakers. But uh, I have to at least open up with a, a thanks to him. Now, as far as myself, uh, I've, I've uh, traveled to 15 different countries, as well as lived in four countries. So just to give you a backdrop, just of my uh, experience before I get into uh, just a little testimony. Uh, this is my first time flying into Africa, emphasis on in Africa. Uh, coming from Amsterdam, the whole trip from, from, from the U.S. over to Amsterdam, even to here, but I want to uh, keep it short. Coming to Amsterdam, I'm, we're in the air and I'm watching the movie John Q. Everybody have seen John Q. Denzel Washington. And somewhere mid in the point, I started crying. And I'm like, why am I crying? Because I've watched this movie before, but it's about a dad who's fighting for his child's life. And he wants his son put on top of the list for a heart. But I've watched this movie before. Why am I crying? Now, me being a man, a real man, uh, you know, you got some brothers sitting next to you, so you try to play it off. You know, like, so I'm at like I'm getting the sniffles and I'm getting a cough and I asked the stewards to give me some tissues. And then all of a sudden, you know, that lip starts trembling. I'm about to burst out. And I'm like, what is wrong with me? I'm tripping. I look up on the screen. You know where they have where the, the countries and the, and the yes. line with the plane? Yes. We just entered over Africa. And to say that, we just entered over into Libya. Yes. Now, for those who don't know, I was born in Libya. I just said that this is my first time coming into Africa. I actually, for the first time when I was born, taken out of Africa. My mom flew into Tripoli, Libya to have me. Uh, my dad was in the military. They were stationed over in Greece. They had to fly her to the nearest military uh, installation because the Greeks back in 66 didn't have American Standard Hospitals. So she flew in to have me, and then two weeks later, she went back home, uh, went back to Greece. <sighs> hmm. So I'm, 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 I'm looking at the screen and I take notice that I'm in Africa, but it didn't dawn on me, you know, what's this whole thing? I think I'm just, I don't know what's wrong with me. But as we further get into Ankara, towards Ankara, Accra, I say Ankara, I used to live in Ankara, Turkey. Uh, all of this stuff starts stirring up in me and started coming out of me. 
I start having these flashes of Roots. Everybody remember the movie Roots? Yes, yes. And all of the pain and the issues and the various things that we went through. And, 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 and finally, for 52 years, I am into a country we were stolen from. In my, in my, in my mind, these flashes are just going. And, and just, I'm, I'm sobbing. We land on the ground, we go get our luggage, we step out the side, walk out and look, and I see a crowd of Africans. And you know, I don't know if any of y'all remember the signs that they had. Yeah. And I'm like, that could be me. That could be my cousin. That could be my <laughs> relative. And I don't even know my name. Mm -hmm. And these people are joyfully showing their signs. And I'm like, I don't know my family. And then going down this road as we've journeyed along, and for those who are watching, we've been getting a taste of Africa from Accra to Kumasi. Now we're on our way down here to uh, Cape Coast. It's been a, it's been experience. And in that, I had to be a watcher of my spirit because as I came into this country that I was not used to of certain ways of living. My, my biases and prejudice started to even surface. As I look at my brothers and sisters in their way of life, and I started to see some things within me that I could even change. And I'll say this right here is that I know a lot of us, we all got ideas. We've learned a lot of things have been great listening to one another uh, from the knowledge we received on the internet and YouTube. But I'm gonna say this right here. We are here. And we have a story to tell. All the talks that we've heard people back in the US, many haven't even taken the steps that we have taken so far. And I am going to challenge each and every one of you all when you go back home, don't keep your videos and photos to yourself. Share with the world, share with them the beautiful continent that awaits them. I'll say to the young ones on the videos, I'll say this right here. Last year, December, my daughter called me up, uh, November, my daughter called me up, said, Dad, uh, I wanna go to Africa for an internship. I said, oh, great. I said, where are you going? She said, uh, well, this internship, it costs $10,000 down in South Africa. And I said, South Africa, where in South Africa? She said, Cape Town. I said, I said to myself, Hell to the no, you're not going down to the white area and not get to experience Africa. And though she got mad at me, I want the young college students to venture into Africa where your people are. I want you to find those countries that where you can do internships with your people. Secondly, the middle aged ones, I want you all to save your money for your children to be able to come over here to Africa. We have a beautiful family here that brought three of their sons, it's five of them. We got another couple with the young little beautiful boy. You can do it to experience Africa. And I say that because investing in your children for them to know the truth because of his story in US is different than our story here in this country, you're connecting the pieces of the puzzle. Yes. Lastly, I'm gonna say to the seniors, you can find excuses why you can't come, but we got seniors on this tour. And I've heard awesome testimonies from those who had fears, doubts that didn't wanna come. It is your obligation and it is actually your duty to come home before you pass on. Yes. You should have the right to come over and to be able to enjoy this lovely land. And so I say that with all heart and I'm, I'm still learning, I'm still trying to absorb and um, I'm staying back after the tour for six days, connected with a few folks and then before we leave I hope to uh, connect with all those and get numbers so we can stay in touch. Because I'm, I'm, I am 
moving here. I am moving here. Not just talking, just moving here. So, just want to say that. And that's it. Thank you very much. Wonderful. 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 Wonderful.